No, that's because I dropped my reins and uh, my jockey coach, Dave Cross, will be giving me a talking to tonight, I'd say, on the telephone about that and keeping my desk in tidy order in front of me. Um, but, no, I, you know, he was... You love it when you see a horse really put his head down and want to get it, want to get his nose in front, and that's what that horse did. He did it himself. He really did it for you, didn't he? He came across some fast. I mean, he's a big price today. What sort of hope did you come into the race with? Well, that was I mean that was a good novice hurdle, and this is this is really a hunter chaser for next season, you know. And we just thought, well, you know, he's he's a nice horse, and we'll we'll run him, we'll try him in a in a novice hurdle to start him. But I have to say, I in no way thought that um, uh, against that field that he'd be troubling the judge. In fact. Um, nobody in the office has even had a, a cent on them and they've all backed the next one. <laughs> Chef to keep still to come, oh dear. Uh, they, they may just have backed the wrong horse. Uh, and so, does that have you reevaluating and thinking we might have a bit of a little star on our hands for the future? Well, what's wrong with the star hunter chaser? Nothing at all. <laughs> no, I mean, he's, you know, he's not. I love the hunter chasing, I love the arms racing, I love riding against the pros, but in reality, I'm, you know, I claim five against pros and I'm not within five pounds of them, so I need something that's considerably better than their riding or considerably better handicapped in order to beat them. So it happens just very, very rarely, but, you know, I love the hunter chasing, I love being able to come to these these nice race tracks and you know and uh, on some on some of the big days and so that's really what i'm looking for but if we can win the odd handicap along the way that's a bonus living the dream very much How, who does your sourcing How about sort of spotting and getting these horses uh guy petit in ireland or guy petit in france david christie finds hunter chasers for me in ireland um but you know guy does a good job uh, rustling them out in france um they're not easy to find and you've got Chef to Keep still to come, a horse who did well for you last season. Is he ready to go? How much better can he be this time? He's definitely a better horse than the last time you saw him. He won at, um, he won at Sandown, um, then towards the end of the season he ran disappointingly at Ascot, when actually I thought he'd win. Um, that point of the season, Phillips' horses weren't in great form. Mm -hmm. We've always thought that's a reasonably serious horse, actually, and um, uh, I think he, he, I mean, I, I say, I advised the guys in the office that was the one to back. Let's hope you're going to do the double then. And let me ask you about sort of preparation. You're talking about Davy Cross um, and, you, and your, your coaching and, and working on technique. What, what about fitness? What about making weight to, to ride, giving you sort of day-to-day -day work? Well, fitness is hard. I'm in the gym four days a week. But um, uh, the weight on this was a particular challenge. And about six months ago when we got this horse, Philip said, oh, we run him in a novice hurdle, but oh, no, hold on a sec. You'd have to do 10-7. Uh, you can't do 10-7. And I thought... I'm going to do 10.7, and I, that's the lightest weight I've ever done by seven pounds. So talk us through the, the, the preparation for that then. Well, it involves getting up in the morning and not eating, then not eating again at lunchtime, and maybe eating a tiny bit in the evening. You know, it's it just it's a lot of it's a lot of not eating and a lot of and, and some exercise. Oh dear, oh dear, that's hard work, <laughs> but worth it. But this is a wonderful sport. I mean, God, that is worth it out there. You know, it's it's really worth. Uh, Where does your passion come from? Because you you're so enthusiastic. You have to be to do this. I just can't believe we're allowed to do it, and it, it's it's unbelievable fun. I was I was texting with a uh, uh, another owner this morning that has a few horses, and he said. Uh, he said, oh, yes, he said, I'm past that. I, I pay my, I pay jockeys to do starving for me. And I, I didn't text him back to say, but I was going to, so if you're watching. Um, but you don't get the fun of these. These things fly. I mean, they, they, they literally fly. They're wonderful, wonderful animals. Would you do 10-7 again? I'd do it on Saturday, Sunday, at Sandown. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and who are the horses that have got you excited uh, for the, the coming season? And maybe whether it's the hunters or, or whatever. Uh, so, a horse called Shantu Flyer, who's a good handicapper, um, very high in the handicap and eligible for hunter chasing. So that's the one, you know, that's the one that I go to dream about, go to, go to bed dreaming about galloping up the Cheltenham Hill in the Fox Hunters. But uh, we've got some nice, nice young ones as well. Great stuff. Well done so far. Let's hope it continues. Brilliant. Thank you very much.